Hello, welcome to my math class. Hey, Miss Yan, why do perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal gradients? Hmm, well, perpendicular lines have to have opposite directions. Think about it. One goes in a positive direction to the right side of the number plane. The other goes in a negative direction to the left side of the number plane. Let's prove that two lines meet at 90 degrees. First, draw two lines with gradients 4 over 2 and negative 2 over 4, like the diagram. Second, we will prove that two lines are perpendicular. As you can see, the red triangle is congruent to the blue triangle by SAS test side angle side. So they are identical in size and shape. Let's name two angles in each triangle as angle A and angle B. By angle sum of a triangle, A plus B must be 90 degrees. And let's call the angle in between the two triangles on the x-axis C, the orange one. Angle on the straight line is 180 degrees. So when you add three angles, A, B and C, it must be 180 degrees. And we know that sum of A and B is 90 degrees. So C must be 90. So we know now that two lines are perpendicular. Gradient of line 1, M1, is 2. Gradient of line 2, M2, is negative half, which is a negative reciprocal of 2, as a reciprocal of 2 is half. When we look at product of two gradients, m1 times m2 is two times negative half, which is negative one. From negative half, well, we can tell negative means its opposite direction. Half is one over two, which is a reciprocal of two. So for perpendicular lines, their gradients must be opposite. And one is the negative reciprocal of the other, like this formula. M2 equals negative 1 over M1, which is 2. Hmm, so cool. Maths is so fun when you know how. Thanks, Miss Yard.